Oh, it looks good though. Okay. Hey everyone. It's Dana. And Linus. With Hitching Up. Moving on. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to do something big today. Um, HyperX. Um, they furnish us with the Iridium Hitch for Kyrex. And we are going to do a total review on that. We're going to do an unboxing, unboxing on it. Um, and the weight on it is 160 pounds. Um, 80 it, pounds per kayak. Sorry, honey. It can um, hold a kayak up to 12 feet tall. And it has some foam pads to help hold the kayak more securely and not damage it. Um, we, we don't know a whole lot about it, nope. but we know what we know about HyperX Corporation. And they are wonderful. Yeah, they're really great to work with. They, they're, they warrantied our HyperX on um, bike rack without even blinking an eye. So, um, anyhow, I know we're kind of in the sun right here. The clouds came back. The clouds came, the sun came back out and the clouds came back in. So, but I'm going to do the unboxing. Daniel's going to video me. So, um, we're going to go from there. Did a tape, tape ceremony. And this might be fun by myself. Because <laughs> I've never had this open. I just cut the tape. <laughs> That's okay. I'm getting it. It's okay. It's... It is. And this is a big box. Yep. It's well packaged. So um, this was actually in a box in a box. So um, I'm going to set this over here. And I'm going to set everything up here that we get with it. And even some stuff we don't. So first of all, we don't need the foam blocks. So we'll just set them down over here. Here's a box full of stuff. Here's our instructions. Keep me on. Mm -hmm. Here's part of a top or bottom mount. And I could probably, hold on just a minute. But anyhow, this is part of the, um, one of the pieces that came out of there. Um, piece of foam. I'm going to put in a pile. I should have put it in a box. Um, another part. I do believe this goes middle of the kayak. And you notice the straps are reflective. Yeah. So that's a safety feature for holding Let me get it. a razor knife. And now I don't see it. And this is rated for RV use. Just like the bike rack that we have from them is. There we go. Okay. I knew I had a razor knife out. I just laid it to the wrong spot. Get over this side so you can see. Oh, these are going to be the either, foam these might be the extra, extra pads they send with it. Right. Yes. They send extra pads in case you need them. Good deal. Yeah. So that you can replace them when they get worn. I'm going to set these over here. We'll worry about putting the main function together before we. And that's why we backed the camper up here so we could actually do it on the camper. Is our hitch right there? And I see these are more pads. So oh more my. replacement yeah. pads for wow. all this. Because all the parts have padding on them already. Yeah. And you know, never been a big instruction reader. <laughs> but we'll see what we have to do. It's like ra unwrapping Christmas, I it swear. It is. This is going to be your first part you're going to need, your receiver. Ah. That's going to be another one of your brackets. Mm -hmm. And, oh, got a box left. So let me set the brackets on top of the brackets. And should have the rest of the miscellaneous stuff in it. Oh. And please like and subscribe to our channel. 
We have lost a few subscribers. Please check. Yes, uh, we've heard from other channels as well that um, YouTube is unsubscribing some people, I assume by accident. But so double check when you click on one of our videos, um, double check and make sure that it says you are subscribed. Table could have been bigger. The tools, straps. Yeah, they give you the tools with it, but I'm probably going to use my ratchet set. <laughs> but, um, so look at the directions okay. for me. And I got to get my glasses on. That's page three. And the first page, we should have the nuts and bolts, so I'm going to move this off of here. We shouldn't need this yet. Nope. The first... This one's going to need bag ...is weight. the hitch receiver. Sorry. We're going to open all this up. Dump it out! And in there, I see a couple washers. Yes, I know. Um, I think I know. A set of keys. These are... You should have the keys in that set. Not yet. Okay. So Maybe different here. set. Here we That's go. what you need this right This would be there. your hitch yep. pin, your hitch lock, and the lock for the everything yep. else. It's good. They call it the hitch pin lock set, and it comes uh, with a 19 millimeter uh, socket wrench, right? Right. That's okay. it. That's right yeah. here. Well, one end is 19. Right. The, the other end bigger end will be probably 19. Yep. yep. But... This will be your lock. It has, um, will go on the end of um, your pin right here, like this. Once you screw this in, mm -hmm. you will lock, you can't turn this in without a key. You'll screw this in and it'll lock onto my hitch of my camper, which I'll show you next. And this should be the- Keys. The keys mm -hmm. and maybe something else. And two uh, washers. Oh gosh, give me a little, ain't that nice. Oh, it's got a little tool set on there. Yeah, oh, that's kind of cool. cool. So anyhow. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is I know what we have to do is, um, wow, well, it made that different than I did before. So this piece, this piece, this piece, these. We're going to come over here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to slide this in my, my receiver. Mm -hmm. yeah. now, I'm kind of curious to see how that's going to work on my camper too. And then this is going to go through here. Get it Looks like they've improved that quite a bit. Actually, hang on just a minute. I think they got that wrong myself. This should be if any lock washer I've ever yes, used. Yes, the lock washers. Okay. Goes on the outside. Okay. They had it on. They just threw it on there. And then let me get a wrench for that. I should have had that ready. A little bit of confusion on this a little bit here when this piece goes in it's tapered and when it goes in it goes in here and as it tightens up it pushes that piece up so it locks this tight up against my push over here you got to get it on this oh, sorry so it locks up against that when it's tightening up so then it keeps everything secure i'm gonna have to use a different wrench because that was not tightening good enough where i'm concerned the way they build the racks they build them to where they don't move around they build this piece so it doesn't move anywhere I'll snug it with this but we're going to do a drive test down the highway down the road here blacktop which is kind of rough It still has a little bit of play, I'm surprised, but it ain't tight all the way, so. Hmm. <sighs> now she's tight. Okay. 
I had that do over again, I would have probably hit my impact on it. Oh. But no, it's not the way you should do it. And you put your key in here. And you want to turn that. And that releases the lock in here. And you'll put it on here. Turn it. Slide on. Pull your key back out. And that can't come off. That locks your hitch from being stolen. Mm -hmm. So, the next thing I have to see what goes on next. Okay. Now, I have page three. Yeah. But there was a corrected page three in there? Yes. Okay. So, let's see how they are different from each other. Because I assume this is a correction. Upper Let's fixed the point. Way. Ah, they've got they've got um, directions on it. Okay. Okay, for the bottom of the receiver hitches more than one foot from the ground. Lower fixed point for the bottom of the receiver hitches less than one feet from the ground. Lower fixed point. So. Let me take a look at this, how it goes. Okay. So they want this less than a foot to the ground. You can lower it down, okay. basically. So you have two fixed points. You have an upper and a lower. The upper fixed point should be more than a foot from the ground. The lower, and you have a choice between two. You see. That way you can adjust it up and down. Right. For your um let me get this thing over here. If you want to pull that back out real quick. Yeah. Alright. This is one of the choices for a bottom right. fixed point. This is the other choice for a bottom fixed point. Well, why don't we go This is it the, only goes to that to Okay, yeah. You can only go two notches, so I would say, what are you going to say? That you have two choices for the bottom fixed point, and you have two choices for the upper fixed point. Right now, the camper is pretty close to level. With a only a 10-foot kayak, I think that's what we have, we could probably use the upper point. So it's higher. We know it won't drag that way when they're going around. And there's two washers here. All right, everyone, we are going to reassemble this um, bike rack. Um, this bar. Kayak rack. This, yeah, this um, iridium kayak rack. Mm -hmm. This bar goes in this right here. This handle has to go towards the back. We thought it went to the front. So we took it back apart. Just a simple look at it, mistake, by what the directions say. We're going to let it go down to the lowest notch, and we're going to bring it up into here, like this. And here, like this. These bolts are going to go on here. These washers and nuts are going to go on here. They are 19 millimeter socket. And the Allen wrench they gave you, which I'm not sure what size that is. It's a bigger, the bigger Allen wrench that's it's in the It's the biggest kit. one. I believe it says, mm, I don't know. Okay. And this is a bigger Allen wrench. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to snug these with my impact gun because I don't like the, I can go a lot quicker with that. And I'll put it in. Anyhow, these handles have to go in the back. Yeah. These straps have to go in the back. I already put this bracket right here on with two bolts that are um, Allen wrench bolts. Two little locking screws, right? Right. Yeah. And that holds this whole piece on here. Yeah. Then the next piece is going to be this piece. And it goes, these pieces go down. This, this um, piece, let's see, there's a bolt down here. I do believe, by the way it looks like I had it, um, this might make it a little easier to put on because we actually had it upside down. Yeah. 
there's two little washers in there. You yeah, have to two get little plastic washers that pop in, and you want to be gentle putting that around that. And post. that's back on there like that. Yep. That's going to be the bottom. Yeah. Okay, I can't see myself. That's mm -hmm. going to be the bottom of that. That's a 15 millimeter, no, a 14 millimeter on the other side. And this pin is going to go in here. And the locking pins. Like this. It's going to go around that for, I believe the way this is designed, when you get done, you can fold this up and put a pin in probably right here. In front, I would think, yeah. And it would keep it from coming right. back down. I right. don't, no, you'd put it in this hole right here. Oh, and it and locks it up. Keep it that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so anyhow, this one goes down here. It goes, this goes on here like that. It clips on. Right. And that's your bottom. So now we gotta tighten up this bolt right here. Mm-hmm. I do believe that was my 14 millimeter. Yep. And the Allen wrench, which was the bigger I believe the bigger Allen wrench. That Allen wrench stuck in there pretty good. Now that's tight. There that ain't go. going to wear. Good. Now, the next piece is going to be this. Um, we're going to take this back out. Um, well. Yeah, I've got to take this apart. I'm going to take this back apart real quick for you. There is a <laughs> there's a bolt right here that holds this all together back. Um, that holds it together. You can put this on together on the ground if you want. And just put this right here. Push this in. Your straps will be over here. And this piece is going to go... Last time I took this off, this piece is going to go... Um, Oh, sorry, I'm backwards. This is the back of the bike yeah, track. Right. It's going to go just like the other one did. It's going to go just like that. I'm trying to figure out which one. Yeah. And they show the clip pin. It the should locking be in the back. pin goes in the back. Right. You set this down. It's hard to do when this thing's really high in the air. So let me get the bolt for it. HyperX does have a video out. They don't speak at all. Yeah. And, and they do it on a... A little stand on the Yeah, floor. a little hitch stand on the it ground. It makes it a little tough because <laughs> you're lifting everything above your head. And... Raise it up here where people can see. There's two holes here. And there's two holes here. You want this bottom hole and this bottom hole right here. Um, you want this bottom hole lined up with this bottom hole and this top hole lined up with this bottom. If you put it in on the top hole, then it doesn't let you shut it, you know, don't let you fold it down correctly. So basically, the best way to do it is just kind of set it up here. And... And you put the clip pin through first? No, I didn't. I'm just putting. This, oh, you're putting the the, the bolt, bolt through. through, maybe. Okay. And the bolt it's goes. It's kind of awkward up here in the air. The bolt goes in the bottom one. Yes. Okay. And then that way, when you tilt it like this, this okay. pin. Let me come over on the side, babe. No, I. Okay. Okay, this pin will go in this top hole. Right. Right here. If the clip would get quit, bite me. This pin will go in this top hole. Uh huh. Right there, and that would hold it right there. Right. And then when you fold it down, when you fold it back down. You just take the clip out. You take this one, and it's going to go in this other top hole right here down. to keep it locked in position. Yeah. Okay. So, right now we're going to put it in top hole temporary while I put this other nut on here. Okay. And it's been cool all day, and the sun side's come out and get warm. <laughs> and this will go right here. And all you got to do, this has got a self locking nut. So, all you got to do is actually. Um, Snug this pretty good. You don't want to over tighten it because there's a bushing in there. And I'm using a 14 millimeter and, a, and I think it's a 5 millimeter um, Allen socket. 
And I know it comes with wrenches, but I like these better. I said, I'm just going to snug. It's going to slide in there where your kayaks are going to go. What they showed in the video was to leave it out like that, set it aside. And we was confused about these top racks, top straps. Mm -hmm. We thought that they went around the, the kayaks. They don't. They go back. There is a clip like this. I don't like doing what they want you to do. They want you to put it around your your piece back here. I'm not. If I would do anything, I would go to my ladder on this side. Right. I don't even know if I put one on the other side. Yeah. Um, but the next step will be to put the. So let's recap real quick here. Someone's still running. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, tighten this bolt. Tighten this bolt. Put this clip in. Tighten this bolt. This here is adjustable up and down. Depends on how the height of your kayak is. You have to unscrew it and pull that out and it just pinch the heck out of you. Watch it, don't yeah. pinch the heck out of your hand. It's heavy. And yeah, it is a heavy play. piece of equipment. There we go. Now okay. I'm not sure how high that's gonna be because that, that other one, I think I'm gonna have to go up a little higher now. Yeah, one of them is a 10 foot. We have a 10 foot adult kayak and then a shorter, I don't know, is that a six foot? Yeah, it's Maybe? about five or six foot. So uh, I went ahead child. and did that. And there is a, um, man, that got me pretty good. Oh, yes, it me. did. Duck on it. Once you get it set with where we want this jam screw right here, mm -hmm. we'll go in and you'll tighten that to where this can't come undone no matter what. I want it tied down tight. And right now, that pin, that's the only vibration you're getting. Mm -hmm. Pan up there. So, next thing is, I'm going to put the kayak in here. Put the youth size one in first. And they show to take the rowing. I do one at a time. I'm going to pull these loose, pull the Velcro loose. They show to take it and go around. Go up through the eye and up through this eyelet right here and back down and I think I've got it twisted a little bit so I may have to twi twist it a little bit It'd be nice if I was 10 foot fall <laughs> It still is a nice built rack. I'll give them that. It is a very nice built rack. There you go. That's going to give you more play. Okay. Okay. And then come around. Yeah. Just about do twisted. I'm going to have to have that lateral there. I got a feeling. Let me get that lateral behind you because this is just too hard to reach up high and do what I want to do. Sorry. Hi, honey. Okay. She's been doing my video for me. So okay. we're over on this side over here. So first I need to, I'm gonna get the ladder here because this is too too tall for me to reach. And I want this to be like this. So I want this to twist out of it, okay. like that. And it goes back into this. And I believe what I've seen, it comes in from underneath. Quit. That thing's got a curl, being a pain in the butt. <laughs> it's got a twist in it still. There's the twist. Okay. Doesn't it go around the kayak once? Uh uh. Mm -hmm. Not there enough room. That's it. Okay. That's it. And then you bring this back here and you do your fold. Are you getting that good old? Mm -hmm. I have plenty of rope here. Yeah, because I think <laughs> they showed only a short tail left. 
Yeah. Well, this isn't a very big kayak, you got to think, too. Okay. Mm so, that's one, that one. And that right now, it's just going to wobble a little bit, but it ain't going nowhere. So, this one's a little heavier. Mm -hmm. If you could get that in and set it in that, I can lift it up. Well, I'm just moving it out for you. Okay. I don't think you have to grab it by the front okay. of it. You just set it in that nose thing. Set it in there. And my, don't get, you might get wet. Oh, there we go. Yeah, but it's gotta go around this. Okay. Okay, it's in there. And you keep it there for a minute. Yep. I it's actually, it's actually holding well, actually, right there. Let's that's do this. great. Let's do this. That's the next notch. Okay. Well, they're going to have straps around them, too. Right. And okay. this one. No, from behind. Nope, that's right from behind. Yep. Take it. And it's going to do the same thing the other one did. Mm -hmm. And goes through this loop from the top. And they're, they're, everything's heavy duty. I'll give them that. Yeah, the straps are nice. And like I said earlier, they are reflective. So when you're driving at night. So then this one will go from into the ratchet. Push a little thing here mm -hmm. and it comes in from below. I am not a below person, apparently. There we go. Now, see, that's a bigger kayak, so it doesn't right. have yeah, as, much, I see. as much. Right, yeah, I see. As much left over. Strap left over. Mm -hmm. I would, I don't know, I guess if I had to use this on my camper, I would have to install some kind of, um, full, you know, if I use it full time, some kind of um, brackets on the camper so it would fasten back to. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if everything's tight. I got to check everything. There's a bolt back here. I need to tighten a little Allen wrench. I see there should be one more one here. I thought that was two screwing things. Maybe. Oh, it's out here. Okay. And then this one gets tightened too. And right now they're on there pretty good. Mm -hmm. I would take this strap. I don't know. Let me have the ladder. Oh yeah, because we had loosened those. Is it down here? It's down here. Okay. Yeah, it's right down there. Okay, a little locking screw. Yeah, it's just a little bitty Allen screw that locks this in after this is tight so this can't slip up or down. Mm -hmm. So you definitely want to keep the screw, the tools if you have them. Mm -hmm. um, it'd probably be balanced better if one was a little bit lighter, if one was heavier on the other side. I'm not sure about these still. They could come off. They're hooked to the metal, barely. Wow. I could go there. There's a hitch. And that would pull it down. Let me try that real quick. Okay. Oh, that figures. <laughs> it came out of there. Where are you going with it? Huh? Where are you going to go with it? 
There's actually, I have a hitch on this camper. Oh. I'm gonna see if I can get it to. Oh, is that the, like the grill hitch? It's the so receiver. And it has a, a metal lip down here, right here. Oh, wow, I'm close. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Ooh, I'm not sure. It would go to this one right here. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I would say that it's going to vary depending on what camper you have. Yep. I'm going to take and go instead then to back down to this ladder again. I'll just go down low and pull it. I don't like that way. I just don't like the way that is over there. I just would never come loose on this side. I'm not fond of that. I don't like that. They're hooked, thinking you can hook it inside of a camper. Now, in their video, they didn't even show to do anything right they showed with them because somebody so, didn't want to do the same thing yeah they need to improve that part <laughs> or have directions about it would vary from camper to camper now this one we don't have a gas line away mm. but if i would go right between here my hitch okay I'll get the ladder so I can pull it tight okay. so we're gonna drive this down the road just to see how it does behind the camper Things that yep, much. I'll go behind in a car and video from behind. So that's what you are going to see next. Everything. But. This is it in a nutshell. How it's going to work. This one is not as big a, a kayak rack on this side, as you can tell. So it's not really catching. The only thing that's holding it in on this, in this side is... Um, it's the strap. The strap because it's made for a bigger kayak. That's right. a small one. I didn't have right. two. Um, so we had two little, little ones. But I wanted to put one big one on here. We're not sticking above my camper much. Good. As long as it is. I mean, it if you had an ideal thing, it would be like a hook right in here. Mm -hmm. I don't want to drill a hole in my camper for that. Right. This is, we've been fighting this enough as it is to keep holes away from it and no leaks so okay. I would probably come down and let me see your put that right there just a minute here I see your go go I would probably come down here and come off my hitch right here with a with some kind of eyelet that stuck out here even if you screwed a little That'd bolt a in and had solution. an island there, an island on the other side, that way you could hook the strap in. Right. Right now I've got it ran to the back side of this hitch right here, as you can see. And on the other side to the ladder, because it wouldn't even reach over there on that side. I don't know why the difference meant. And I really don't like this rubbing right here on my J, on my strip. So if I would come off of this down here, I would want it to come out some and make it nice and sturdy but uh, the strength of it the strength of it is very nice it's very well made it's gonna move everything moves and I mean it's gonna it's gonna wobble some I don't think anything's gonna loosen up though no the way this is made it shouldn't come loose yeah if them came out of there I would be surprised um, it take a lot of pretty good road and look at the cl clearance you have on the ground mm -hmm. and I know I'm not hooked up to my truck right now but we do you know you do have quite a bit of clearance you got quite a bit of clearance between your windshield and I want to make sure 
yeah. This is all tight in here. And that bolt keeps that from coming out. Now that bolt could be, I think this notch, I think this one can come out one more notch. I'm not positive on that. I can't remember what it looked like. But anyhow, it, well. So next thing you see is us driving down the road. Yeah, so we'll take it for a drive. She'll follow me. Probably do it tomorrow because I have to hook the camper back up to the truck. Doesn't matter. And we will um, take it for a drive and she'll follow and see what it does. Good morning, everyone. Hey, um, we decided to change the, the back of the, um, the kayak rack um, a little bit different way because we don't have a way of hooking the upper straps to our camper. Normally, they would go from this orange strap and they would go around here and they were made basically for a, um, a um, toy hauler. They're made to hook onto the door, door of a toy hauler. Well, we don't have that. So I took, I used my own straps right here. I left that strap still there. I hooked my, my clamp right there. And I came down here, put a little piece of foam right here, and I drilled into my hitch just right here on the corner edge and put a loop and eyelet, which would be handy for my um, luxury bikes also. And then I just pulled them down tight and it pretty sturdy. It ain't going nowhere. So I'm following behind Linus and we're taking the kayak rack for a ride. Just to see how it handles. Now we've got some bumpy roads out here. We live right on the edge of a small town. Cornfields, you can see. And we're gonna head out to uh, St. Chris State Park, which is only a few miles from us, but there are some rough roads. And boy, it looks great right now. with the stability of it the construction is top-notch no doubt now these are some old exempt railroad tracks it's a little bumpy going over. It's got a little bit of sway, not much movement at all though. out on a road called County 5, just a county road, and you can see the camper is doing some moving back there because it's a bit of a rough road. But it's really stable looking. Nope. But you can see how to full-size kayaks would fit there.
So this is the Hyperax Iridium Hitch RV Radio. Kayak Rack. And we have it folded up. Um, I'm going to talk about the construction a little bit. Yeah, the, the bottom hitch that actually comes off your hitch is made of two inch steel, about an eighth inch wall steel. It comes all the way down through there and comes up through here, comes to this top part, and then it reduces down to an inch and a half. And I'm telling you, this baby is sturdy. The whole thing, if you look online at what other people are building, it doesn't even come close. And it, all the other people that are building this stuff don't give you any kind of foam they protectors. <laughs> you have to buy them pool noodles. Yes, they suggest pool noodles and These zip are not ties. pool noodles. These are super heavy duty <laughs> foam pads, and they give you a whole extra assembly of these just so when you they do get war because these take a lot of beating down the highway um, you can replace them and you don't have to go try to find them and I'm sure if you contact them and need them they'd probably send you more they are a wonderful company yeah um, top-notch customer service for sure this is definitely in the fold-down position with all the straps still on it um, we have been very fortunate to be able to do this for you for them and uh, they they backed us up really good on our bike rack, and so we're we're very impressed with the construction of it. Linus said the only thing he doesn't care for are these straps. Yeah. This the clips on the end are actually made for a toy hauler. Yeah. But nowhere in the directions does it say it's for a toy hauler. Um, right. So how do yeah, you fix that problem? Yeah, because on a toy hauler they have the door that pops open and you can hook the, the clips right around the door. And, and that would hold your top, because usually this is up about another foot, so it's up higher. But what I did was, these straps would not reach where I wanted them to reach, so I took them off and I used a couple tie-down straps. And I made two eyelets underneath here, and I tied them down to eyelets on both sides. And that was just, they're, they're really, honestly, with just the middle straps holding it, it ain't going nowhere. It would never go anywhere. That just gives it a little bit less sway back and forth. And you can see that in the, the video that and, I took from behind. And we did a driving, we actually took the time to hook this thing all up, put tie axe on it, and drive down the road and, and show you what it does as it's being drove, how much movement it's got. Uh, that way you're not surprised when you get it and you go, oh my gosh, this thing moves all over the place. Well, actually it doesn't. Right. It does a really good job of staying back there. So, and the only other thing that I didn't really care for was the directions in some spots were not really specific and so we had to reassemble a couple times which I guess for you know sometimes that's normal yeah. um, maybe it's just my brain now in uh, Lincoln subscription box when we get done we will have a, a Lincoln subscription to this item where you can buy it from HyperX I believe it's $5.99. I believe that's what it is. When you look around at some of them at around $500, they ain't, the quality is not there. Much, I mean, much I'd be afraid they would just tube. bend. Yeah. yeah. I'd be afraid they would just bend if you had that much weight back there. Some of them actually real thin quality, and they actually made to haul two kayaks and two bicycles, and I just can't believe they would hold up. Yeah. Because then you're overrating your, your riches. Your hitches are actually are only rated pretty much for 300 pounds, down weight, bounce weight. Uh, and then you get mine's like 300 down and 3,000 pull weight. So pull weight's fine. But when you're going down the highway, like I explained to her, um, these are like a school bus. And in the very back of the bus, you get the biggest bounce. So when it's back here, you want the strongest metal and you do not want it to turn loose. Because this all together would be about 200 pounds. Yeah. The, the rack itself is about 50 pounds. And two kayaks on there would be about 140, 150 pounds. Yeah. Now, if um, I know people do it all the time, if you have a bumper that's behind your pull behind, usually just on pull behind campers, now usually fifth wheels don't have them. Do not clamp a clamp on there that's got a hitch on it. Uh, the the bumpers are real thin wall metal. Um, with this much weight, it'll rip the bumper right off there. It, you may not be the first time, may not be the second time you take it out. I guarantee you, by the fourth or fifth time, you would be seeing them things dragging the road. Um, I tried one of those bumper hitches on an old camper one time. It held up all summer long. And then on the way home, my boat was dragging the ground on the front when I pulled into my street. So I learned a valuable lesson. I didn't lose my boat. Nobody even told me going down the highway, so I was very lucky. But um, anyhow, we 
we ramble on too. I ramble on too much. <laughs> But it's just kind of time to tell you how good a quality this is. Yep. So I think we give it two thumbs up. Yes, definitely two thumbs up. So and this is Dana. I'm Linus. With Hitching Up. Moving on. The and best is yet to see. Yeah, please like and subscribe to our, to our channel. 